Understanding White Magic in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase in the English language, white magic. This term pops up in various contexts, and understanding its meaning and usage can enrich your English vocabulary. So, let's explore what white magic truly signifies. White magic is a term often found in the context of folklore, fantasy, and cultural stories. It refers to the use of supernatural powers or magic for good and benevolent purposes. Unlike its counterpart, black magic, which is associated with evil and harmful intentions, white magic is linked to healing, protection, and helping others. It's important to understand this distinction as it reflects the cultural perceptions of good versus evil in the English-speaking world. While white magic originates from folklore and mythology, it's sometimes used in everyday language to describe actions or events that seem extraordinarily positive or beneficial, almost as if magical. For example, someone might say, the way she calmed the crying baby was like white magic. Here, it's used metaphorically to describe a remarkably effective action. The concept of white magic has a rich history. It's rooted in historical beliefs in witchcraft and magic, spanning various cultures. In many stories and myths, characters using white magic often embody virtues like wisdom, kindness, and altruism. This historical context is vital for understanding the connotations and cultural significance of the term in English literature and media. White magic is a common theme in English literature and media, especially in the fantasy genre. Characters like wizards or healers often use white magic to overcome obstacles or defeat evil forces. These representations in books, movies, and TV shows have played a significant role in shaping the modern understanding of the phrase. I hope this video has shed light on the fascinating phrase, white magic. It's a term rich with cultural and historical significance, adding a layer of depth to our understanding of English language and storytelling. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories and cultures they represent. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.